Cameron Crutwick has been so important to his school, and here he is at the podium for Loyola. Uh, no, I mean, listen, we, we've been running this thing. Comes from Cheryl Ray Stout with WBEZ of Chicago. Cheryl? Yes, this is Cheryl Ray Stout, WBEZ Radio. Cam, even when you guys got down to double digit deficit, it seemed like you still guys you guys still had the fight. You still were in the game. What was going on that you were unable to get over the hump? Yeah, I mean, like I said, we we, we had some opportunities there. Uh, you know, we, there was a loose ball, and, and Braden got a wide open look that he he probably wants back. You know, he probably makes that shot seven out of ten times. Um, you know, it's just we just we just couldn't couldn't find it. Um, you know, we didn't go away like you said. Just just try to keep in the fight and everything, and, and play to the, to to the horn. But um, you know, we got great looks. I mean, I don't know what we shot from three, but. Um, you know, not, not to blame anything or anything, you know, we all, you never want to miss, but, um, you know, it just wasn't falling, wasn't our night. Um, you know, they, they, they played, um, you know, they made some big shots and, and we, uh, we kind of didn't. So, um, myself included had no, have a couple I would, I would like back, but, uh, um, you know, right now it's just kind of that, that game will kind of fade off and, and the memories that we made and the celebrations and everything, um, th those will remain. So. Our next question today comes from Krista Rutch from CBS Chicago. Krista. Hi, Kim. Krista from CBS2. Uh, question, have you given thought or have you made a decision if you will possibly come back next year for your extra year, year of eligibility? Um, no, I have not yet. Um, just right now, just trying to, you know, enjoy the company of the guys, um, you know, just the guys that we battled all year and everything like that. So. No, I haven't given any thought. Our next question comes from Abby Schnabel of the Loyola Phoenix. Abby? Cam, Abby Schnabel, Loyola Phoenix. I was wondering if you could just like tell me, does this one hurt more than the Final Four one? Just like, like compare the two for me. Does it hurt more? Does it hurt less? Same feelings? Yeah, I would say it hurts more just because, and, and I know... Um, when you're a freshman, you, I mean, obviously I took that loss hard, but I had three more years. Um, obviously I felt for those seniors and those guys just, you know, obviously they were in the spot that I'm in right now. And, um, yeah, it definitely hurts more just to know that, um, you know, this was kind of my, my senior year and everything. And, um, just the kind of group of guys that we had, um, uh, it was shaping up, we were shaping up to be, you know, trying to get back there. But, um, you know, and I also think that it, it, it hurts more now just because this is the most recent one. Um, you know, like I said earlier, um, you know, that Michigan loss, it, it, I mean, it, it still hurts a little bit, but those memories that we made the, uh, during the whole ride and everything mean way more than to know that we lost that game. And, and I'm sure that it will um, be the same, you know, down the, down the road. All right, we're going to turn now to Harry Schrader. Harry, if you could please introduce yourself and your affiliation for Cameron. Thank you. Yeah, Harry Schrader, ValleyHoopsInsider.com. Cam, congratulations on a great career and a, and a great run this year. How have you grown, uh, matured, changed through the Loyola culture slash Porter's influence on your life? Oh, that's a that's a that's a heavy one. Um, you know, just from being a freshman, you know, just tried to grow every year. Um, you know, me and Coach and, and Luke really kind of built a you know special relationship and everything. And it was it was tough in there in the locker room. Um, just through through it all, thick and thin. Um, you know, it, it's just tough to kind of put that into words. But um, you know, I'm I'm proud of the career I've had. I know Luke's just proud of the career he's had. Um, uh, so, yeah. All right. Our last question for you, Cameron, is going to circle back with the Loyola Phoenix and this time Kyle Brown. Kyle? Hey, Cam. Um, you know, it seemed like, especially in the first half, uh, Oregon State's defense was just really tough for you guys to kind of overcome. Um, I know they looked like they were playing a lot of zone, and I know they're a pretty long team. Um, but, you know, was there something specific that just made it difficult for you guys to get anything going on offense? Um, uh, we, we didn't play with the pace we wanted to play with. Um, we kind of let them slow us down a little bit. Um, honestly, we, we got a lot of good looks. I mean, if you, you go back and watch the tape, we, we, we got a lot of open threes. We just... 
just didn't make them. Um, you know, I got a couple open looks in the paint that I missed, especially in that second half. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, they, yeah, they ran that zone. Um, they, they, they do run it well, but, um, you know, I, I felt like we were getting our looks, getting open shots. We just we just didn't convert on them, and, and we really didn't play with the, the type of pace that we wanted to play with. Um, and we kind of got the pace going a little bit more in the second half, and, and we started to kind of find our rhythm a little bit, but it was kind of too little too late, so... Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.